Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm here to talk about how to use a differential to approximate a cube root. Now, a differential is a calculus concept, as you might imagine, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write the cube root function and uh, talk about how you can use differentials to uh, approximate a cube root. So, one of the things you want to think about is a cube root is thought of as y equals cube root of x. Now, when it comes to differentials, it involves taking derivatives, but as you might imagine, any radical you want to rewrite as an exponent. So you have y equals x to the 1 3rd power. Now, to use differentials, you're basically taking the derivative and then solve for dy. So taking the derivative of both sides, you have dy dx is equal to, using the power rule here, you have 1 3rd x to the negative 2 thirds. And before you go any further, keep in mind that because you have a negative exponent, you're going to move this term downward. So dy dx can be thought of as 1 over 3x to the 2 thirds power. Now at this point, if you want, you can rewrite it back in radical form, but it's completely up to you. But then you have to solve for dy. So multiply both sides by dx. The dx is cancel. So you have dy is equal to dx over 3x to the 2 thirds. Now how is this going to help you? Well, it allows you to approximate a cube root. Basically, what you want to do is plug in, if you want to find the difference between the cube root of 9 to the cube root of 10, or the cube root of 8 to the cube root of 9, just plug in the numbers 4x and the change in x, which is what dx stands for, and you'll be able to find the approximate difference between the cube roots. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an overview as to how to use a differential to approximate a cube root.